Hey guys, welcome back to another bike shop uh, order opening here. Uh, we'll jump right to it. Linda is not with us today, so you'll see here in the bottom of the screen, um, we've got the, uh, the tabletop pendulum clock, so maybe something to keep you visually stimulated while I drone on about something. Also don't have the shadow box or stuff behind the counter. We just reorganize things. Uh, if you wanna shop online, you can, mtbshed.com. Any of the items you see here, uh, we can obviously ship to you, or um, if you're looking for something else, we probably have it on our website. So search that out, it's really clean, really easy to shop from, mtbshed.com, uh, or come see us in person. Uh, again, Linda's normally here, she's just not today. So uh, let's jump right to it. I don't wanna waste too much time. Um, I already pulled up the first item to make sure our cameras were set up well. It's the Topeak Mountain DA pump. So you guys have heard me talk about the Topeak pump before. Um, this is a mountain series. So um, DA stands for dual action. So this is gonna fill on both the, the in and the out. It is a huge difference. I mean, you're talking about, you know, rapidly pumping like your old frame pump, you know, 50 to 100 times um, to going down to like 30. We did a video on this. Uh, Riley used the race rocket, I believe something like 50 and that's a much smaller unit. So uh, the DA is really cool. It'll do both Presta and Trader. You do have to unscrew this valve um, to change it to Presta. So if you do order one online, know that it's gonna come in the Schrader position. Uh, but yeah, do that and then make sure you mount this. Um, mount it on the kind of the opposite that way that it shows so make sure you mount it on the drive side of your bike so that way you're not accidentally unscrewing this cap here when you have it on your bike but if you're riding a mountain bike if you're running like 2.4 2.5 inch tires you need a high volume pump something that pumps on the in and the out that's really nice so uh, we got a bunch of those in i'm not going to pull them all out of the box here um, another topeak product i guess is just going to be topeak heavy uh, this is the Topeak um, uh, digital pump, so that's nice. Uh, let's see, nothing really special here. Um, it is a little bit different design than the Fox and Rock Shocks ones. Uh, it'll go up to 300 psi. Um, so yeah, now you're going to get less air loss on a digital pump um, than you will on, on a, a standard analog pump. So that's nice to have. I think this comes in a little bit cheaper. I'm not sure the exact price on it. Um, but yeah, Topeak makes great pumps, so check that out. Um, this is the pocket chalk, they call it. Not much smaller. All the digital pumps are about the same, I feel like. Um, so nothing, nothing too crazy there. But, you know, we talked about it last episode. We brought the analog pumps in. They're about half the price. Uh, but uh, if you have a full suspension bike, you absolutely have to own a shock pump. So make sure you're, you're keeping an eye on your rear cam. That should be done, if not every ride, um, every week, week or two weeks, something like that. So make sure you're checking in on those things. All right, our friend on the tabletop clock did that. A uh, couple of pictures there um, from the Chubb Enduro and then possibly the Greensfelder Enduro on the right. A um, couple young riders. Uh, one of them works here at the shop now. Um, and then, uh, yeah, that's it. As you guys can see right here, we are an authorized G-Shock Casio dealer. You can search our website for those, or if there's something else that you're wanting that you don't see on our website, shoot us a message. Um, I'm sure I can get that for you and send it out. So we got some jerseys. Um, we kind of had a hole in the large department, so I thought we'd bring something new in. Um, but cool jersey here from Race Face. Nice kind of breathable seeming material. You guys can almost see through it. I don't know if I can get out of the way enough for that to happen. But yeah, race face, emblem on the side, kind of speckled. We'll throw that on the main screen. So yeah, pretty cool. Nice jersey, come grab that. Let me make sure I don't have anything else in here worth showing you guys. I do. Let's stick on, before we continue on to the jerseys, this is the Smart Gauge from Topeak. We've had a lot of customers in wanting a gauge. Um, this is a really nice digital gauge. Again, you should be checking your tire pressure before every ride as well, just as important as your rear shock. Um, so make sure you're doing that. Uh, this gauge here will do both Presta and Trader. 
So smart unit here, um, you know, automatically changes between the two. Um, yeah, really nice. So um, good for road bikes, mountain bikes, motorcycles, and cars. So actually, I need one of these uh, for for myself. So that's pretty cool. Um, and it looks like I don't know. It's got some other information. Um, but yeah, it, it helps you to stay a little bit more accurate. So whether you're using like a Topeak mountain pump, um, you know, that's going to have a little bit smaller analog gauge, but this is a really good way to check your air pressure maybe without losing a ton of it too. So that's kind of cool. Um, it's illuminated display, pretty neat. Uh, pick yourself up one of these guys as well. A lot of air stuff this week. All right, I believe. That's it, a bunch more Mountain DAs in this box. Oh, all right, I mean, kind of moving on here. We've got the Osprey hip pack. So, um, pretty cool unit. This is not a hydration pack. This is just a typical pack. Um, what I like about it is this angled pocket here. Um, so maybe not doing it quite good enough justice. And I don't have a water bottle near me. <laughs> um, but really nice, the bottle's gonna go in sideways. So if you're reaching, let's just put it on. We'll see if I'm skinny enough. I'm not. Ba -ba -ba. Easy adjustment. <laughs> Tuck it in. Think small. But yeah, right here, nice, easy, grab the bottle, pull it out. Um, I think everybody's seen the Ospreys before that are kind of dual-sided. I think that's a lot of weight to have on your back. So really nice, just have this one side. Uh, kind of a hard shell here a little bit as well. So very nice. Kind of holds its shape due to that, um, which I can really appreciate. So plenty of room for tools, all that good stuff. Oh, it's divided in there. That's really nice. So, nice little little net. Uh, we'll bring it in on the close screen. I didn't mess that up. Shocking. Um, so, yeah, nice tool organizer, phone, whatever you need to put in there. So, come snag this guy. This is really cool. Um, I think this is a newer product from Osprey. I don't recall seeing this before. Um, but, yeah, really nice. Oh, and then the airflow on the back, which is also kind of keeps it off your back. This is going to be a hard shell, so it's not going to be a kind of floppy, but it, I mean, it's still flexible, uh, but a lot more comfortable, kind of allows your air to back, to breathe a little bit with those ribs. So that's nice. All right, we can jump back to jerseys now. Um, interesting material. This is probably, you know, something to keep in mind with mountain bike jerseys. A lot of people are like, why would I pay 50, 60 bucks um, for a jersey? Um, kind of a good neutral color, a little bit of logo on the back. That's nice. No pocket. Um, but yeah, nice jersey from Race Face. It is a little bit thicker material. So, um, you know, these are made to breathe. You can kind of see the stretch here. Um, that's going to be important if you're wearing um, chest, you know, any shoulder protection or any base layers like the Fox base layer, stuff like that. Um, having this stretch is going to be helpful uh, to make that all feel comfortable and don't feel like your, your, your jersey's tugging on you or anything like that. Um, it also is going to offer protection. So when you crash, the stretch stuff isn't just stretchy material. Um, it's high performance stuff. So it's going to help prevent you from scraping your shoulder up. The, the material is not going to give way, which means your skin is not going to give way. And that's a big thing. If we crash out on the mountain bike trail, we don't want to get a bunch of dirt um, and rocks and stuff that we have to either um, possibly go to the, the urgent care or um, have to spend a lot of time at home and a lot of pain trying to dig those rocks and that dirt out. So um, yeah, wear a mountain bike jersey. It is an important part of mountain biking gear different than just like uh, wearing it. A, it's going to breathe. It's just going to be more comfortable. You know, you're, it's going to breathe better. Um, it's going to stretch in the right places, but it's, it's also protection. Um, so here we have Fox, a really cool, funky color. I think we got these in medium and large. Um, so really neat. I've won one of these pretty badly. That's pretty cool. Slightly lighter materials. So this is going to be a really good summer shirt. 
Um, you can see the textures here. One thing about Fox, like a lot of people are like, why is the Fox stuff so expensive? Um, there's a lot that goes into their material. So this is gonna be super lightweight. Um, you're not gonna have big puddles of sweat, you know, building up here at the chest or in your armpits. Um, these things are, are made to kind of wick that moisture away um, and keep you dry, so. All right, same jersey here. Um, this is actually, I should probably tell you guys what this is, the high tail jersey, um, which is interesting. Normally Fox is pretty good about pitching what the materials and stuff are, but not on this guy. I also don't know, and if you guys really care that much, you can look, it's polyester. But again, super stretch material, um, which is really nice. Dig the colors of this again, kind of that khaki dirt color, um, and then some sort of blue, navy, I don't know, some sort of vintage coloration, but nice shirt. The necks are really important too. I think maybe that's something that's overlooked a lot of times with a, a mountain bike jersey, but you can see how these necks are cut. It's not like a normal t-shirt, so it's gonna give you a little bit more room here. That way you don't feel like your shirt's choking you out. Um, again, yeah, medium, large in that blue one. And that appears to be it. We looked at, these are just more sizes of the same. So yeah, that's it. I think two important takeaways from today. A, pump, so we need to make sure that we are um, checking tire pressure every ride, very important. Um, you need a, a, a pump just in case, maybe you forgot to do it at home. The Mountain DA, getting a mountain specific pump for your mountain bike is gonna save you so much time and effort. I mean, especially when it's 100 degrees out um, and you just plugged your, your tubeless set up, you're trying to put air back in and you're sweating, maybe you got friends waiting for you, be respectful, have a uh, dual action Toe Peak Mountain DA. Um, it's really the only pump I try to sell. Um, we've got some cheaper options out there, but this isn't terribly expensive. This is going to be under 30 bucks or around 30 bucks. So um, pretty good. Uh, digital pump's nice to be able to check your, your pressure there. So that's basically it. Get a mountain bike jersey. Um, same thing with whether it's shorts or jerseys. Um, there's a reason why uh, you know, we carry these things and recommend them to our customers. So they're going to move in the right directions. They're going to make your ride more enjoyable, which is going to allow you to ride more and have you look forward to it. And then uh, the more time you come and see us. So, um, you know, we want to, we sell things that are, are going to make your ride better. So come see us, see the things we have to make your ride better or shop online at mtbshed.com. Till next time.